Monsoon season. And it's January. Okay, in the middle of monsoon season in Indianapolis. It's been going on for a couple days. We're on the interstate. Drive chat Saturday morning. We determined it was January 11th. Sitting here with Terry and if you don't need to go outside today, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah, stay stay home. Stay home because it is it is pretty nasty out here. Especially since it's still dark out. And it's still dark out, yeah. So Terry's gonna pass this truck here and Anyway, this has been going on for a couple days and, you know, I'm getting really tired of it. I think there's a song like, how long has this been going on? Yeah, there's <laughs> the Robin coming on my Yeah, so I don't know. This has been going on for a few days, so. So, like usual, we're, we're chatting about pretty much nothing and on our way to Hopefully it's Zumba class. You know, I was thinking I had checked a couple times. Yeah, that flooding. Uh, yeah, yeah there's always there. some flooding up in Carmel. Yeah, I thought that too. And, and I did look, and <laughs> nothing was canceled. So okay. we're going to try to make it, and hopefully um, well, yeah. there won't be like a lake in front of yeah, like Prime Life it, and yeah. Richmond. I, I woke up last night in the middle of the night, and I don't know why that was stupid. But I went, <laughs> how can I get to go? It's always a big lake in front of it. But you know, it's like, you know, they always say that your dreams, like, you know, you act out in your dreams what your frustrations are. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and I guess my frustrations aren't many because <laughs> all I did during, oh, there's flashing lights up here. Oops, see what this is. Oops. One on the other side. Maybe, hopefully nobody slid off the road. There's a car over there. There's some debris. Debris on the road, debris on the track. Okay, let's go back. Excuse me, they drive slow. Mm -hmm. And then when it rains, it seems that they drive like about a mile. I don't think they realize that, you know, the water underneath and the hydroplane. Oh, yeah, yeah, do a little yeah. free skating well, on the slow, highway. Slow down a little bit when it's raining, guys. You know? Well, that's our tip for the day. As this, as this truck passes us on the road. <laughs> on the right. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, about dreams. So, yeah, my dream last night was, I guess I must have been thinking about going to Zumba or something, which, you know, probably isn't the, I mean, it's important, but, but I kept thinking that I didn't make it. No. <laughs> well, let's not. Talk and you about left, you left without me. Oh, I, left I had too. one dream where you left without me, and then I had the brilliant idea that, well, you know, I might be late for Zimba, but I can always make it to town class. And then I couldn't find my car. And then, so there was a lot of stuff, a lot of frustration going, going on out there. And it was all, it was all around my everyday activities. So I don't know what that means, but. I don't like in the dreams where you're looking for something and you can never find it. It's like you go back over it like 20 times and you're like, I gotta go back to this purse here and I gotta go look in it and I go back to that purse and I start to look in it and I go, I gotta go back to that purse and I gotta look in it. I must do it like It's kind of like, like a Groundhog Day dream. It's just like I can never get everything in order. Like if I pack in a suitcase, if I think I'm packing a suitcase, I can never get my suitcase back. I never get to the wherever the hell I'm going. She never gets. Well, she I never gets lie. the task. I finished. never get it finished. She never finishes the task. It's like, like, wait a minute. Now we gotta go back. That, and start over. that must be what the dream frustration yeah. is. Are you having? Are you having problems finishing a task? No, no, no I know. Of, but <laughs> maybe my it's are always that way. Maybe it's future. Maybe yeah. it's future. Yeah. It's been that way for years. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. I don't, I don't have those type of dreams. I just have crazy, nutty, can't make sense. Well, no, I, it'll be like if I'm in a dream and I'm, it's a weird dream. Yeah. But it's like if I'm doing something, I never seem to ever get that thing done. It's no matter what it is, you know. It could be just a stupid dream. Me, I've, I've had a lot of stupid dreams. Last night I had a stupid dream. I hope it. I don't know. I just went. Somehow I had this little bitty dog. And I don't know where the heck it came from. But I ended up looking for a place to live by myself. Ooh. And, and it was an old house, and I went to the old house, and then it was just like two doors in the house. Like, it was like a bedroom, and then 
it was the front one. And then I was trying to get my clothes and change my clothes because I had to go somewhere. And I opened up a door and there was Michelle Pfeiffer taking a shower. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer? <laughs> was it was it a old Michelle Pfeiffer or a or a young Michelle Pfeiffer? Hey yo, that's good. We don't we, we don't need to have any dreams about any old. And, and, people. I, and I really didn't see her a whole lot except for she had her head down and I knew it was Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, oh you sure was it me? No, it wasn't. <laughs> And then I did support of the race. And then we were going to some kind of uh, Hollywood thing or something. And you know why? I think I remember that because at the hot and the cool club I just watched them. I saw Michelle Piper sitting in the back. Oh, <laughs> oh so you finally watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. You know, it took me the longest time to I couldn't I, every time I started to go to the movie theater to yeah, see that when yeah, something baby. something would happen. This is what Bob and I like the best out of so yeah, so many memorable scenes. I fi I finally saw it like you know last weekend or something yeah. like that. And Terry that just Terry just Bob recently it. saw it. But it, I think you know it. The thing about that movie is there was so many great scenes in it uh, that I kept going over in my head afterwards. And you know I'm not a big Quentin Tarantino fan, but I will have to say that's one of my. You know, if you get a chance to see it, it's on the top of my list this year, and I'm sure it'll be Oscar nominated. You know, several times. But I, I almost thought when I was watching, I was watching a Coen Brothers movie. You know, yeah, it's, it's like it was just yeah, because it wasn't as weird as it usually. Yeah, it was weird. It was yeah, weird. yeah, but it was you know dark. It's dark humor. And was, was that your dog's name Brandy? Brandy, 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 Brandy was all star. Yeah. You know, Brandy. Bob wants to teach. No, 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 <laughs> no! Don't do that. No, he wants to teach. That's funny though, because he did that little the uh -huh. other night to, Brand to, to Brandon. Yeah. He turned around right away and came yeah. back and sat down in front of Bob. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which was so funny because I said, "There's something with that." They must, uh -huh. they must yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he turned right around and came back uh -huh. and sat down in front of Bob. And so, Bob, and he sat there for a while and he started to get up again. And Bob did it again. He came back and sat down in front of him. Yeah. It's I a said, little clicking noise. That's funny. I said it's a little clicking noise. He, he's the one that picked up on it. Yeah. Yeah. Red, red, red pit. Excellent oh, performance. Yeah. I mean, Leonardo did great too, yeah. but it's like Brad Pitt was was really good. I tell you, yeah, who I thought was really good. Really the girl was in the pool screaming. Oh, ah! <laughs> I've never seen anybody die that way. <laughs> I know. Yeah, if we probably nobody probably remembers her name. We're going to have to give her a shout out next week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we actually, you know who that was? I think it was Zuma, Thur it was Zuma Thurman and Ethan Hawke's daughter. Oh really? Wow, that oh, they played that part. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize until after the movie over, with yeah. Dakota Fanning was yeah. uh, uh -huh. squeaky from. Yeah. Oh, and you didn't know that was her? No, oh, I, I, I just didn't recognize. Bob and I her. are now pointing. When we want something, uh -huh. we lift our leg and go that way. It's harder to do. But, you know, I thought you did that before. I kind of. That's my way. That's my way. Hurt myself. Oh gosh. Is, where yeah. is the salt over yeah. there yeah. with your leg? And how did you like? I mean, I know it's the guy that. The guy that played the part wasn't in it very long, but but I uh, was talking this about to Eric about, um, and he was in Homeland. Homeland. Oh yeah, no, oh he was the a guy, great Steve McQueen. The guy that played oh, yeah, Steve McQueen. Damian Lewis. Uh, yeah, Damian. Right. Okay, yeah. and and my I love Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen oh. was one of my favorite yeah, I know. He actors. Had such the mannerisms. Really. And Ginger's too. Yeah. Our mother's uh -huh. favorite oh, actor. Yeah. And it's like you know, and Steve McQueen. McQueen had very, it was all mostly facial expressions, yeah, uh -huh. and and he had he him down. Great. He oh, had great. him down. Actually, it's like when he started, when they, they showed. At first, I, I didn't think so. And then, <laughs> and it's like, sudden, when he, it was good. It yeah, was it was good. Because Bob kept going, who is that? I kept telling him, he goes, yeah. really, that's him? And I said, yeah. that's him. Yeah. And, and it just, yeah, I didn't uh -huh. think at first until he sat down, and he actually was having a conversation with that girl. Uh -huh. And then I... You could, it was like, oh God, yeah, he sounds just like him. He looked just like him. I know. It's like, it it's just crazy. like his timing was perfect. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, I thought he did great. And uh, we saw our, we saw some um, Casa Vega. 
Oh, you know, yeah. Carrie and yeah. I was in Casa Vega, uh, in, out in LA several times, and uh, there was a table scene between uh, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio, and they were sitting at a table in Casa yeah. Vega. And then we went to, is it Frank and Musso's? Yeah. Yeah, we, you know, we've yeah. been in there, and there was a lot of good Hollywood, Hollywood references, and uh, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a, I, I would say, I was going to use the word delightful, but it was it's like, yeah, delightful no, probably not delightful, it, yeah. but I will have to say the ending totally it threw me, funny. totally yeah. threw me, the ending did, so. I was going, what the hell? I so, thought he was dreaming. I thought maybe he was dreaming or something. That's why I kept going, what the hell? But you know, because he did walk out the cigarette, you know, yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, so you know, that's I, I do. It, I mean, just be prepared. It is a dark movie. If you don't like dark, dark comedies, don't go there. Yeah. But I will have to say, I finally got to see it, and it I didn't see laugh. it. I did see it at home, <laughs> and it is um, close to three hours. But yeah. I tell you, yeah, I did not bad. even yeah. think it. Did you? I mean, it went fast. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't even. I, not like the Irishman, you had to break it up a little bit, but um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it's like I didn't even realize it was close to three hours until after I, I think someone mentioned it, and I went, oh really, I didn't realize it was that long, so, but it was, uh, so, you know, shout out if you, you know, want to see a, uh, and I, and I rent it on iTunes, so, you know, I don't believe it, I don't believe it, you know, I think mine was five ninety nine. Mine was five ninety nine. Yeah, something like that, so. Yeah, mine was prime. So, uh, we're going to recommend that movie, uh, for, if you don't see hardly any, I'm sure it's going to be nominated for Best Picture, and I figure Brad Pitt is going to be nominated for Best Supporting Actor, and I'm sure he will win this year. I've seen, um, lots of movies this year, and I haven't seen anybody, uh, for supporting even at the Golden Globes or, uh, and I think he did win for the yeah, Golden Globes. Yeah, yeah, So, anyway, Good. but, uh, you know, highly, highly recommend that. And, you know, plus you get, you get to see Brad in all his glory, mm -hmm. you know. I see the Bob, I said, ooh, Brad. Brad still got it when he took off his shirt. I know, Brad and, has and still and got Bob it. Bob goes, how do you know it's not a stump double? Because he had his glasses on. I said, well, I guess I don't because they're talking about stump doubles. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 I guess I, I don't. I, I, think, I don't think it is. I think that's Brad. <laughs> I We're think going it's to Brad. Don't burst our bubble. Yeah. Brad goes, how do you know it's not a stump double? But I was like, uh, well, because I think it's Brad. We think it's Brad. Not Leonardo. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Brad. We think it's and he Brad. took off his sunglasses, so I'm pretty sure uh, yeah. it was him. Uh, yeah. I think uh, we're going to give we're going to give the uh, uh, the fitness to Brad. Yeah. So Brad Brad is fit as far as we're concerned. So okay, we're getting close. Um, I'm going to shut off for a few minutes, and we'll yeah, be we'll minutes. be back. It's taking me longer to get Okay, we're back, and we're almost there. And we've made it safely. And like again, you know, if you're out and about, oh, ooh, let's see if there's any, ooh, or do we have flooding? Oh, I think we do, Terry. Oh, this looks bad right here. That's that side. So when I leave, I'll have to go that way. Oh my maybe. God. Are you gonna? Are you gonna risk it? Okay, we got a spot. Mm -hmm. Got a spot. Okay, we're here. We're going out run in for is it hopefully we won't have more flooding by the time we come Ooh. out but have a good saturday yep. stay in if you need to um if you don't need to be out don't be out because how long has this been going on a long long time out of here peace Gouda. Shana, Gouda. mozzarella, mozzarella. Dance, party. <laughs> dance, party. dance party dance party dance party dance party oh, oh. Do it, do it, dance party. Okay, she's so good. She just, she's really, really good. Really, really good. Excellent, excellent job. Dance party. That's good. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yeah. Good job. I think you went on, on the road with when you know, you're going, you're hugging Olaf. And like you said, who is that monster guy? That was the minion for the speaker of me. We're about to go and get her a car. Who came to pick you up over there? Oh, Terry. Yeah, it's Terry. Auntie Terry picks me up. Uh -huh. oh, well, and where were you going? I was going to downtown to the to the Yuletide. Oh. Yuletide thingy. 
thingy. So you're a drive chat uh, viewer? No, yeah. Yeah, okay, well thank you. Good yeah. job. Give me give me a high five. Okay. Yeah. Dance party. Dance party.